There you go. First cleaner. We'll do this better than that. How's it going guys? Been a couple of days. I figured I'd just bring you guys up to speed on what's happened the last couple of days. Nothing. <laughs> That's what's happened the last couple of days. That's why I haven't made any videos. Been running around. Uh, nothing happening. I did bring the uh, oil pan into work. I started cleaning it. Um, I'd like to run there this Saturday and uh, weld it up. See how we do. Um, I think of it this way, good, bad, or indifferent, whatever it is, it is, we're going to bring the block down, I'm going to bolt it to the block, I'm going to have everything fully cleaned, uh, at least where it has to be cleaned, um, and we'll give it a shot, I'll try doing some kind of, uh, some kind of order to prevent the warpage, or let me be worried that I'm going to try doing it in some kind of order to try and limit the warpage. Um, I will explain why I didn't bring that back area onto the back of the pan. Because when you bring it onto the back of the pan, and then you cut the bottom out, what we did, but a little further back, it actually lifts up the pan as it warps, and you have a problem sealing the, uh, not the rear main seal, but the seal that goes around the rear main seal, around the main bearing. Uh, the little rubber seal, it tends to lift there and doesn't exactly uh, conform the way it has to. So that's why I stepped the pan forward a little bit and let it make the curve to try and limit that. Um, I mean, I think we'll do okay. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go too too crazy until this is welded on. Once this is welded on, uh, we'll come up with some kind of baffling. Um, and uh, we'll see how it works out. Uh, we are going to have a second engine coming. Okay. Um, but just like long before you guys saw my videos, you got to understand I've had well over 200 videos removed in the beginning of my YouTube career. Because once I saw all the copyright stuff coming, back then they did it a little different. Uh, I didn't know what that meant made it sound like I was breaking the law and the police were going to come knocking on my door so I went on YouTube and eliminated all my original videos and um, I left one up the first video that you see was the only one I left just to keep the channel open I didn't know what was going to happen at the time nobody could answer any of my questions back then uh, <clears throat> as long before the garage gang and all that other stuff it's almost uh, it's like 9-10 years ago now um, but, um, what was I going to say? The original purpose of the, my wagon was going to be a test platform. So now that's been pushed over to the Concorde. I'm going to let Junior grow with this car and do whatever he wants to do to the car. So this is his car. So we are actually going to build two engines for this car, one at a time. We are going to continue the 360. And we had an engine kindly donated to Junior from Cutworm, uh, an AMC 401, which is like, they're like race ready out of the box, if anybody knows anything about AMC, um, they handle a lot of power with the factory parts, you know, with upgrades, meaning the 360 has a limitation on how much the crank will handle, um, you have to get aftermarket rods if you really want to get some power in them and so on and so on. The 401 comes right out of the box with a steel crank, forged rods, the um, webbing where the mains are, are as thick as the main caps, so they stiffen the block. Um, all AMC engines are high nickel blocks, which you poor Chevy guys had to pay extra for. Never understood that one either. Uh, all AMC engines up until uh, 73 all have screw and studs. So. It's probably going to be um, the second engine when we do it, 
we'll probably go all out on or all out to a point so we'll see how he handles the first one our goal is at this point is I have to check the date again but I'm almost positive it's July 16th of this year um, is all AMC day in Maryland I want to get the car down there so he can make some passes with it um, but that'll be with the 360 and you know let him get his feet wet with that and of course we'll bring a bottle with us I have a whole night just set up that was donated to me by somebody else minus the plate um, because he gave it to me fully set up with two nozzles the way they used to run this even though this whole setup is brand new uh, the 250 shot nozzles we were going to actually put them on the six cylinder that was the stuff we were going to put on the six cylinder um, but I'll probably switch it to a plate and uh, we'll see how it goes from there but the um, 401 can handle a lot can definitely handle a lot you know, we'll punch it out a little bit see if we can get up to maybe 415 cubes and uh, probably call it good from there I have a buddy that has his set up to 420 and he's in the same wagon as my black one and he runs 990s with it so and that's on foot brake that's on small tires that's on 26 by eight and a half or eights or something that's what slap of ours um, pulling the wheel stand with it though um, so they do make a lot of power and that's what steel factory cast iron heads which uh, well, at that point we'd have to get into them a little deeper if we want it to breathe but um, we'll see how that goes like I said it's gonna be a platform you know this isn't juniors gonna be juniors daily driver so we could do whatever we want to it if it breaks it breaks um, but I think the training and rear will be stout enough for what we want to do uh, I'll see if we rip those ladder bars off <laughs> but it'll be a steady progression and um, if he wants to make it faster we'll do it if he doesn't maybe we'll keep the other motor a little tamer that's no, gonna be his call it's gonna be his, it is his car it's not my car anymore so so with that said I figured I'd bring you guys up to date and uh, just hanging out here at lunchtime down by the water uh, except for where the snow snow's been stacked the snow's pretty much gone so that's good it's been warm every day it's warm there's people just walking by here with t-shirts on it's not that warm but I guess for how cold it could be it's warm uh, I mean we've cracked the 50s already up to 40s into like 50 so when I think uh, this following week coming we're supposed to go into the mid 50s one day with, a ch with rain so that'll if any of this is remaining it'll all be gone so not bad for uh, almost February so with that said, I see beautiful days like this and I want to take my car for a ride, but you can't because the roads have salt and shit on them. But um, yeah, so like I said, I'm probably going to head back early from lunch. I'm going to finish cleaning that pan. Um, I'm going to start sanding it, but I'm only going to sand where I really have to sand at this point because I'm not going to stand there and spend an hour on this pan sanding it or whatever and everything go awry and we toss it in the pail I'd rather just sand what I have to sand do it and if it comes out good I might just have it tanked I don't know 